I'm about to uncover another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of death. A journey into the wondrous land of New York. The next stop, the Detecting Zone. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Detecting Zone. Today, I'm going to show you a hunt. It's a group hunt here in New York City, and we went back to the woods that I showed you guys last time. It was Carlos, Robert, Merrill, Fernando, Geronimo, and Manuel. So there were six of us. There might have been seven. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. Uh, I didn't get everybody's finds, so I highly recommend that you watch uh, Dogstar Blazer's video uh, when he puts that out, Metal Detecting New York City's video, which would already be out by the time I'm posting this, uh, Pack Rat New York City's video. Uh, they're all going to be having different perspectives of this hunt, and the links to their channels are going to be down in the description. Guys, check out what Carlos found. It's a bullet. Uh, you can tell by the back there, the front is all beat up. It looks like it hit something and broke off. Um, I also found something as well. Wow, Jonathan found a musket ball. Yeah, I found a, a awesome. small, very small musket ball. Oh, man, Jonathan. Woo! <laughs> nice. That's cool, Jonathan. It's very, very tiny. Check that out, guys. Nice. On to the next one. Whoa, check this out. Looks like some old uh, dishware or something. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Carlos just pulled out this mercury dime. Check it out, 1943. Sweet. That looks really cool. Nice, right? The details are, are really nice, especially in the back. Yeah. The front is a little bit worn off, but that's not too bad. It's actually really good. Nice. Carlos was the first to find silver that day, but he would not be the last. Uh, to be honest, our finds during this hunt were some of the best finds uh, I've ever had. I actually got a bucket lister this time, but Carlos started it off. I mean, I mean, yeah, the bullets were cool. My little uh, musket ball, I think it was a lead pistol ball, was cool. He had a shotgun shell, but that silver coin uh, set off something, and we just started finding uh, crazy things back to back to back. So are you guys prepared? I, 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 I don't know if you're prepared. If you're prepared, hit that like button if you're prepared. I just like found this stuff. relic. Um, it looks like the mechanism to push up a wick in a in a uh what do you call it like an oil lamp or something yeah. and so like the wick will feed through here you turn this uh to pull it up you know and either it'll flame through here or flame through here i think up here is where it will flame through uh but yeah that's a that's a pretty cool thing there you go uh carlos said he thinks he just found a large scent i just found something I'm gonna let Jonathan take a look at it. I'm gonna see if I get a toothbrush. Yeah, oh man, get a toothbrush. I am excited. <laughs> it could be a token of some kind too, but it looks like a coin. It does look like a coin. Let me see if I got a toothbrush. I concur. That is true. I don't think I'm gonna... I have a toothbrush anymore. What? Come on, man. No, I think I, I, I left Come it on, home. man. Oh, I, I could get details. It's all right. I got details. I got the details. One. Yeah. It's a largey. You got it. I oh see the one. Oh my lord. <laughs> All right, let's just keep rubbing it here. It's, it's softer than the toothbrush anyway. Yeah, I see the one. I see the O. You see oh the O? Oh man, yes. Yes. Damn. This is the spot, this is the spot Jonathan. All right, we're going to clean it off the other side too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we get more details. Oh man. A few more details. Not Not too much though. Yeah, you, you're gonna. I see stars. One, two, three, four. You see them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit it up a few more times because the details are coming up. <laughs> Each time I see it a bit more. Oh, man. Damn, Carlos, you're killing it right now. <laughs> Mercury, large sense. How'd oh, this ring up? Oh, uh, loud, like. Loud? Yeah, like uh, over thirty. I, I think I think you should you should uh. Yeah. Tell the guy. We're just getting the dirt off. This is really soft, so oh it's not going to hurt the coin. Definitely not going to hurt the coin. Hey, Yo, M, so far I found a, a Merc and a large scent. In the area... It, in the area where I'm at. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to... Ah, uh, you found a well? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've been there before. Here, we, we, I've been there before. That, that over here where we're at is a nice spot, man. That's crazy. Cool. Okay. Woohoo! Alright. Thanks, buddy. Congratulations. Alright, man. Damn, 
can't I can't get a year. I can't get a year. You're gonna have to clean that at, at home. That's a fatty, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Put her away. That's In the a tree nice. Bay. That's a nice large. Cent <laughs> Just one last time for the details. When you clean it up, uh, send me a picture. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. We should talk about large scents for a while. They were minted from 1793 to 1857. So a pretty good range of about uh, 60 or so years where they were making these large scents. The rarest large scent was from 1793. Those were called the flowing hair large scent. And I think they were only made for that year. After the flowing hair large scent, there was a different design called the Liberty Cap. The Liberty Cap large scents were made from 1793 to 1796, so only for three years. After that, they started making the draped bust large scents that was from 1796 to 1807. After that would be a classic head large scent, which was from 1808 to 1814. And then lastly, the coronet large scent, which is the most common from 1816 to 1857. So, uh, Carlos had found this coronet large scent given that his is the year 1846. One cool thing to note is that the flowing hair, liberty cap, and draped bust large scents all had a very similar back. Uh, on the bottom, you could identify them because they say one over a hundred. The large scents that came later have a different design on them. Uh, this is important for later. But yeah, a large scent is not something you find all the time, and holy smokes, congratulations to dog star blazer carlos for finding that jeez that was crazy so carlos just found that largey i found a smallie it's a it's a wheat penny it's, it's a small wheat penny all right on to the next one <laughs> damn look what meryl found okay it's like a long on. pointy thingy <laughs> for today and fortunately i have smart people who watch my videos who can identify this for me because i sure as hell can't what is it it looks like it had a handle on that side, definitely. Yeah, maybe for hunting. Maybe. They are. Spear. That's really cool. Ancient. I just got myself an Indian head penny. Check that out. I gotta clean it up a little bit. Let's see if we can get a date off of it. If not, I'll get a date at home. Damn. Oh my god. That looks nice. Oh, not too deep. One shovel. Damn, that looks cool. There you go. Damn, that's cool. It's worn out though. Really worn out. Damn. All right, I'll get close up after, and I'll say, I'll, I'll show you in the wrap up. Well, guys, check this out. Next to the Indian, I got an old uh, New York subway token. Uh, you know, because it's smaller than a dime. It has that Y shape in the middle. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna hit it with a toothpick. But yeah, old New York City subway token. I'll put the years up here so you guys can see. There you go, the Y. Clearly visible now in the middle. Pretty damn awesome. On to the next one. Check it out, guys. I just found a button. I'm going to go show Geronimo. The, uh, the back has a shank on it. Still, it's pretty deep down in there. Wow, look how green it is. Might be like a guilt button or something. Yeah, I could get a lot of details off of it when I clean it at home. That's cool. That's amazing. That Indian head penny was an amazing find. However, that button was even better. The button was produced by a company called Benedict and Burnham. The Benedict and Burnham company was in operation for 11 years between 1834 and 1843. So this button is almost 200 years old. That would mean that this button predates the Civil War. I found myself another bullet today. Check that out. It's a two ringer. I think it's uh, similar to the one that Fernando found. I didn't get his on video, but yeah, bullet. On to the next one. Got another bullet. Look at that. This one's so small. Pew, pew. <laughs> it's really small, like compared to my pinky, probably the size of my pinky nail. Uh, yeah, but I got it. I'll clean it up when I get home. Guys, check out this button I just found. It's like the top of a button, you can see here, and it has the shape of a lion on it. That's really cool. Rawr! <laughs> lion. <laughs> Alright, anyway, 
uh, if I see if I get anything else, I'll show you guys. Hey guys, I just got this large scent. Check out the back. It says one scent. Down on the bottom, it says one of one hundred. Down here, I'm definitely gonna put this in oil and try to clean it up at home. I've been hitting it with a toothpick lightly. Um, I'm not getting a lot of detail from the front, but that's okay. Later on, we'll, after it's been in oil, we'll hit it up and we'll see if we can get more detail. Look at that. It definitely says United over here. Yeah, I have to look it up a little bit more online to see like the type of coin. Of course, when I figure it out, I'll let you all know. And I'll show you how it's supposed to look as well, because this is uh, definitely toasty. Definitely toasty. That lion head button I found was pretty cool, but it's not as cool as that large scent that I found. Uh, upon closer examination, the bottom of the back of the large scent said 1 over 100, making it an early large scent. It could be possibly a flowing hair large scent, a draped bust large scent, or a liberty cap large scent. Draped bust is most likely the answer since that is the most common one. But the front of the coin was so toasty, even before, even from before I, I put it in oil, that it was impossible to really tell. Later on in this video, I'm going to be including a short clip where I take it, I put it in the light, I'm moving it, I turn it around, and I move it. If you can further identify uh, the year or the type, either drape bus, flowing hair, or liberty cap, large scent, let me know. I'll be very interested to know if I was wrong in this ID. Uh, Carlos says he's a sucker. He got a Merc. Let's see, let's see. He's right up there. Probably can't see him because of the tree. He's right over there. We gotta jump down. Whew, let's go down. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. Oh shit. Yeah. We got it. Nice. What's the year? I can't tell. I got you. 1945. Ah. 1945, Mercury Dime. It's your second silver today, right? Yes, sir. Two silvers and... and uh... At this point, the hunt was wrapping up, so I think it's only appropriate that Carlos, who had found the first silver, found the last good find of the day. I did find one more coin. It wasn't as exciting as this. And I believe Carlos found something else that I tried to record, but my camera had run out of battery. Uh, so check out his video, Dog Star Blazer. Just got myself a wheat penny. Uh, the interesting thing today is that I've been finding a lot of trash, but I haven't been finding any clads. No regular quarters, no dimes, no nickels. Uh, wheat penny is the closest thing I've come to clad, so cool. Robert had found these four wheat pennies in the 1918 Mercury Dime as well. Hello everybody, this is the wrap up for the hunt out in the woods. Uh, we'll go over the buttons first. This is a button that has a thistle plant on it. And you can see it still has the shank. Unfortunately, the letters are a bit fried so it's, it's hard to see what the letters say. But if anybody knows about the maker of this button or when it was possibly made, let me know. The second button has a lion head on it. Looks pretty cool, but it's it's hollow. This is one that you would put like over the button. It's more like a button cover uh, with a lion head. Still looks cool, and it's copper. I found four bullets. This one was completely destroyed. They're all lead. Uh, this one is, I think, two rings. Yeah, it has two rings on it. This is a smaller one without without any rings. Trying to get it to focus there. There you go. Smaller one without any rings. And a little pistol wall. Cool. We have two wheat pennies. I usually don't go over the years of the wheat pennies, but this is interesting because this one is pretty early on. 1913 wheaty. And then we have this one that's 1938 wheaty as well. We have an old subway token. This side says good for one fear. It's NYC there in the middle. And the other side says New York Transit Authority. These are very old. I'm going to put the years that they were made so that you guys can see that. I also found this Indian head penny. 
the year is 1903. It cleaned up really nice. I uh, put it in some oil and hit it with a toothpick. And uh, yeah, the details came out amazing on it. This one I cleaned almost exactly the same way. I put it in a little bit of oil and I hit it with a toothpick, but it's just too far gone. It is a large scent. You see it says United States over here and 1 over 100 here on the bottom. Kind of see that 100. Zero, zero. In the middle, I see the one here and the scent right here. Could also make out some leaves going this way. And so it's an early large scent. Unfortunately, the. There you go. So it could be flowing here or draped bus, but unfortunately, the other side is a bit fried. And again, it was just oil and a toothpick. I cleaned it the exact same way I cleaned this copper. You know, and this copper came out amazing, and this one came out uh, toast. Sometimes the ground just eats the coins that way. I was extremely careful. But yeah, I'm going to put uh, the good coins in a coin flip, but that's everything I found. I hope to get out to that woods area again soon, because there's it's a large area, and we did find a lot of good stuff. About that, we are going back to the woods area this weekend. So from when you're seeing this video, it might be like the very next day or the day you're watching this video. I am going to be back. So if you want to see more, uh, please leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to make sure that you never miss an episode of The Detecting Zone. I didn't freeze. It was just, you know, I took, I took a moment for dramatic effect. All right. Bye. See you guys.